Pro Presenter 7.7 .7 was just announced and it's currently in beta. And the thing we are most excited about is the new key mapping feature in Pro Presenter. This allows you to create custom shortcuts for pretty much anything in Pro Presenter. And that is exciting to us because with Keybridge, we can now make buttons on a Skahoy controller like this QuickPad do a lot of things inside of Pro Presenter. So let's take a look at a few examples. But first, let me remind you that Skahoy controllers are all IP. So it's really easy to move a controller to another part of your OB truck or your church or your auditorium as long as you have an Ethernet cable available. You can also remote control a Pro Presenter computer right from a Skahoy panel being in another city or another room. Not a problem at all. This is a new version of Pro Presenter, and right here we have the QuickPad connected to Keybridge working with Pro Presenter. Let me just quickly introduce you to what Pro Presenter is, how it works. Um, I could bring on a countdown timer like this. This is my output over here, so you see the countdown. I can also bring in a slide from a uh, worship song, for instance, and then I can use uh, keys to go to the next slide and so on. I can also bring in media files to play in the background of the slide. You see all that compositional thing going up uh, on up here, and then I could add um, small uh, props to my slide like this one that will um, put a little overlay into the picture. And I can then clear all these away by clicking this one if I want the screen in the auditorium to be blank. Now, this is highly used in various forms of uh, worship presentations in churches and so forth. And it's often operated by volunteers. And hence, the relevance of the QuickPad, because the QuickPad gives you a tactile, direct control of the most essential things here. So. If you have a volunteer without much introduction to um, Pro Presenter, you can easily have them switch forth and back in, in the song verses and, and put on the various graphics you want and so forth. So uh, Keybridge is another piece of software that runs on this computer. So let's just switch over here. And inside of Keybridge, you have what is called macros. You see the macros right here and you can create new ones, but basically each one of these are bound to a key on this one. So when you see HWC1, it means hardware component number one, which is the button that lights up here. Um, it is the, the button that is uh, being set up right here. So let's see how that works, uh, how I can use my panel. So if I go back to, um, to my application here, you can see if I press the intro button, I get the countdown tim timer. So that's what you could tell your volunteer. Just press this one and you have the countdown five minutes before the service starts. Then if you press the verse button, you can see we are now showing the verse of this song by a simple um, uh, click of, of this button. And then we have decided to navigate forth and back in these uh, in the song verses by using the uh, next and previous. So if I'm turning this encoder right here, which is uh, easily accessible to your left hand, then you can actually go forth and back here between the, the different um, uh, verses that this song consists of. Now, um, if I wanna clear media, I press this button. Um, but that's not relevant before I have media on it. So in this case, I want to um, bring in a background. I have this button called blue for blue background and I have one for red background. So the volunteer is also able to uh, choose between these. Uh, and now I have two options for clearing. I can either clear the media in the background or I can clear the slide, so the text. And that's gone now. These buttons will bring up a question that could be asked on the slide. Um, and I can toggle it away again. I could also bring up a little message like uh, Carl's mom come to the reception. And uh, apparently Carl's mom is always the problem. So this is why he has his uh, own key here or she has. And then uh, lights on. Um, another little overlay. And then we have an empty button that we want to code right now. I said that the, the keyboard shortcuts are really the... Um, the cool thing that makes it even more powerful with Keybridge because before you were limited to what Pro Presenter would offer you a keyboard shortcut for, but now we can have it for anything. So let's just look at how Pro Presenter has this uh, working. We go to edit, we can go to key mappings, and here is a lot of them already. You can see out here which keys they are mapped to, but I'm now scrolling through all these. So all of this, most of this is not custom key bindings, but if I go to the bottom, uh, for some of my props here, I have a prop that I would like to, to have this for. Uh, the prop is called Grant's name. Grant is our US sales manager, national sales manager in the United States. Uh, he uh, operates out of our LA office. And um, we want to put Grant's name on, on the slide with a keystroke on the QuickPad. So um, 
basically what we can do is uh, click here and then record a key press or a key binding here. I will uh, press Alt plus L and we have it right here. So now I have this keyboard shortcut to bring this up. Let's just see. Um, we can we can try these props over here to just see if the key bindings work. I have question toggle on and off. I have Carl's mom toggle on and off. I have lights toggle on and off. And then let's see Grant's name toggled on and off. Thank you. So now how do we get this on this key? And that's a matter of how Keybridge works. So once again, Keybridge is a piece of software you run on this computer that will convert triggers, button presses, and also encoder pulses from the Skahoy unit into keyboard shortcuts on your Windows computer or your Mac or your Linux. And by the way, it can also do, uh, yeah, you'll see in a moment, because what we want to do now is to create a new macro. So on button number four, we have an empty slot for the macro to trigger Grant's name on uh, ProPresenter. So what I do is I basically click new macro, I press the train button, and then all I need to do is to press this button, and it has now recorded the button press on this one. For those of you who know that Skyhawk controllers can do so many advanced things, it, you know that we can also detect edge presses and so on. If you go to advanced mode here, and if you start training, then notice that we will see um, the edges up and down pushed. It also, sorry, uh, we'll see whether we, we press it down or we release it. We'll also see which edge we are pressing if I'm moving around on the edges of the four-way button. And that's all happening in advanced mode, but we don't want that. So I'll just go back to simple mode and uh, I'll just quickly train it once again. So in, I, I just want simple button press, but I just wanted you to know that it existed. And it's now recorded. So what we need to do now is to take some of the, the actions that we can associate with this button press on the quick pad and it would be the key press that we want to, to drag over and drop right in there. So now we can add the Alt key and we can add L as the key press we want for this one and then we can save. Now, just quickly, you can see that we can also record mouse movements, positions, clicking, we can have text input happening, we can insert delays, and we can actually build up because we have multiple actions here. You can see we can drop those over. We can build up a whole sequence of things that should happen on your computer. So the Keybridge application is very, very powerful, integrated with Skahoy controllers. Uh, so we'll just save this. Uh, as a little side note, this works over raw panel. Raw panel is our protocol that allows our controllers to talk to anything as the simple keyboard. And it's also the central technology that goes along with Blue Pill Reactor, our new platform that makes modularity a dream with Skahoy controllers. So go check that out. Something new is cooking with Skahoy, but it's all based on the same technology with raw panel and Unisketch controllers that are brought together in these types of applications. So that's really cool. But all we need to do now is to go over here. No, wait, let's just confirm that we have this macro. So if we go to the macro over you, you'll see that hardware component number four now has a macro that when we press it on edge down, it does something. We didn't give it a name. Let's give it a name actually. Also because we want something meaningful to show in the display. So we'll just uh, type in here. Whoop. Uh, grant. And let me see if we do that. I think we need to save. Okay, let's go out to macro. We see it in the display. It says grand and down here, it's all good. So let's go over to ProPresenter once again. Now, uh, bring on the question. Yes, we can on and off. We have lights on and off. Do we have grand on and off? Yes, we do because we created a key binding inside of ProPresenter and we created the shortcut on the quick pad. So if you want to learn more about all this raw panel, blue pill reactor, quick pad, key bridge, and pro presenter integration, look in our YouTube channel, social media channels, follow us there for more news from Skahoy on how you can use this to integrate all your production technologies in simple interfaces.